Hey everybody, it's teacher Amy here. I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how I use Cam Twist with Google Slides in the classroom. I have only been doing this for about two days. I am by no means an expert, um, but I was kind of nervous to get into this whole digital thing. And now that I did it and found out how simple it was, I wanted to let everybody else know that if I can do it, you can do it. And here's how. I use Google Slides for my rewards, for my class props, for all kinds of stuff. The group on Facebook is amazing. I used to just put them on my iPad or on my phone and just hold it up to the camera or, you know, just point to it, which is totally fine and it works that way. And you can definitely do it that way if you want to. But I just wanted to kind of integrate everything and have it all in one screen. So here's how I do it. So this is the basic um, Cam Twist main window. Right now it's just using my webcam. I am going to open a Safari window. I'm going to open the um, Google Drive that has the Google Slides in it. These are the uh, rewards that I used this morning. So I'm going to open a Build a Burger one. I'm going to go up to the little arrow next to present and go to presenter view. You don't need this pop up that comes up. I'm going to make the window a lot smaller, but I want to make sure that I have some black area at the bottom here because I don't want these controls to show in the classroom. So now I go over to desktop plus I'm going to use this PIP PIP picture in picture button. I'm going to hit that and now it puts my entire desktop on top of my face, which I obviously don't want. So I'm going to go to um, desktop settings. I'm going to confine to an application window and the specific Safari window that I am using for the reward. I'm also going to select the capture area, which means that only the section that is inside this black box that I'm making right now is what is gonna show up in the classroom. You hit done selecting, and now you can see it's just that area. I'm gonna go back to my PIP settings, clear the background, it gets rid of the black around the edges. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and put it in the corner. Now I do this because I like to have my reward on the screen all the time, but you certainly don't have to. You could put it in the middle and make it bigger if you only wanna use it for, um, like if you wanna do the burger like this and have it just show up only when you give the reward, you can do that as well. But I like to have mine on the screen all the time. So I'm gonna put this over here. Now I like to do a couple different rewards at once because I do a different reward for every classroom, whoops, for every class. So I'm gonna also open the Spider-Man. Same thing, I'm gonna go to presenter view, get rid of the pop-up and there's my find a star and there it is. So when I want to switch for my classes, I just go to the tab and change it and there's the burger and I go here and change it and there is the Spider-Man Find a Star. So nice and easy. Now, the other thing you can do is you can do the Google Slides for the classes, which are the props and things like that. So in order to do that, I'm gonna open a completely different Safari window. I'm gonna do this very same thing. I'm gonna to go to my drive. I'm going to go to the lesson I taught this morning. I'm going to make the window a lot smaller. Oops, maybe not quite that small. I'm gonna go to presenter view, get rid of the pop-up, make this longer so those controls don't show, and then just set it up so it's only going to use, whoops, I need to do a new pip. New pip, desktop, pip. And at this point, I would probably rename this one rewards so I don't confuse them if I want to take them off the screen at any time. And I'm going to desktop settings. I'm gonna make it go only to the new window that has the class slide open. And I'm going to select the capture area again, just like before. Oops, bring this down. Done selecting. And now I'm gonna put this kind of in the bottom over here. So my slides um, my class slides and props and things, I like to have those up in this corner. And I usually only put them there when I'm actually using them. So I would bring up like, um, are you scared? And they're scared. And then when I don't want it there, I just click this button and it goes away. You can do that with the rewards too. So 
it's pretty simple. Um, I have been using it for, I don't know, like eight classes so far and I just love it. I love being able to move back and forth from the different rewards and make it nice and easy. Um, there's also a way, I haven't really gotten into it yet, but there is a way to save your setups. So if you, um, you can also add things, and this is like a whole other video, but there's a way to add things to this effect screen right here. Um, things like an apple or a bear or whatever, and it would just put them wherever you want them to be on the screen, very much like Manicam. Um, I haven't really done any of that yet, but if you do, there is a way to save those settings. So if you have specific props that you know you're going to use for each lesson, you can just put the lesson name right here, save the whole thing, and then load it when it's time to teach that class. Super easy. So anyway, that is my little spiel for today. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment and I will be happy to help you out as best I can. Again, I say I've only been doing this for two days. So um, I hope that this helps you guys get started. Happy teaching.